Alright guys, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make chalk paint. This is pretty much all that you're going to need. Any color latex paint that you want to paint with, plaster of Paris, water, a measuring cup, and something to mix it in, and of course a paintbrush. Alright, so you're going to want to pour your paint first. Uh, I love that I have this little container which almost blew away on me. Um, so it has measuring lines on it, so I knew exactly how much paint I put in, so you don't have to measure that separately, because you do have the measuring cup for everything else. So you want to start there first. Have your paintbrush handy, just in case you get splatters everywhere. So the next thing I'm going to mix is the water. It's a third cup of water and a third cup of plaster of Paris. I had eight ounces of the paint, if I didn't already say that. So you're going to go ahead and stir the water in first. It's going to make your paint a little bit runny, but that's what you want. And then you're going to add your plaster of Paris. Again, another third cup of that. And it's best if you can kind of pour it in and stir it at the same time so you don't get big clumps, but sometimes you just got to work with what you got. Once you get it at a good consistency, you should be ready to paint. So make sure you don't have any bugs on your surface before you get started. Uh, we did a little bit of prep work before we started painting. I don't know if you can see, we put some brackets in at most of the angles to get it a little bit more sturdy because it was pretty wobbly when we got it. Uh, we got this off Craigslist for, I think, 30 bucks. So that was a score. Uh, I just needed to transform it a little bit. So we went back after we got a good first coat and put some wood putty in those screw holes that you can see and then did a final coat. But we used a paint roller for the large surfaces and then we ended up going through with a paintbrush and doing all the fine details. So while we were at it, we decided to go ahead and transform this vintage mirror. It's actually an old family piece that didn't quite go with the decor, so we gave it a little facelift. And that's the great thing about chalk paint. You can use it on all kinds of different surfaces, wood, metal, whatever you got. So we gave this a good little coat and went back with a rag to wipe off excess in a few spots. But we will show you the finished products in just a second. And this is our entryway where we put the mirror. I absolutely love how it turned out. We wanted some of the gold to still pop out. And I think the white and the gold really pops those details out. And I found these candles that I think looked very similar to the design on the mirror. And I like how everything really kind of pulled together here. And now we'll lead you straight into the office to show you our final product. And final product bookcase. I'm pretty pleased with how this came together. Half of these items are actually from yard sales. So go ahead and check out our other channel, Quick and Dirty, for our yard sale adventures. It's been quite a process styling this thing because it's got some big spaces to fill, but it's a work in progress. It's coming together pretty well. These are the only holes that we didn't fill on the shelf. I thought we'd leave those open so if we want to adjust the shelves, we can. And I'm glad that the brackets are pretty hidden uh, since we painted those out. So I don't think they're too obvious if you're not looking for them. So overall, I think it turned out okay. Okay. 
And the other side of my office, this desk I actually got from Wayfair. I got a lot of things from my office from Wayfair actually. I got this desk, my rolling chair, and this comfy chair. It's Yoshi's favorite spot to nap. I will go ahead and link all those below if you're interested in checking those out. I plan on doing an office organization video if you guys are interested. I'll show you inside the drawers how I have everything set up and organized. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me some comments below if you'd like to see more like this. See you next time.